It is evening animal chore time. It's more like night time. I was doing the regular chores. Came to check the nest box of over here. I opened it up, peeked in, and came to get the camera because it looks different. And then I peeked in and I saw some little white thingies. So I think, oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh look at this. Look what I'm seeing right now. What is, oh, isn't that the happiest thing you have ever seen? Oh my gosh. I have been waiting so long for a spotted baby. So I'm looking at the fur and I saw it was white. So I was thinking it was Elodie because she was the one who was nesting as well. So let's see how many there are. Okay, so there's this spotted one who is. Look at this cute little face. Look at it. Oh my gosh. So one spotted one. Two black one. Three black one. Um, so that's three. Then four. Five. Six. Wow. Seven. Eight. Let's see, are there any more in this little pile? Usually when they're all first born, they're all kind of in the same area. So eight. Oh my gosh. So one. Two. Yes, Elodie, these are your babies. Three solid pink ones. And four black ones. Yeah, you just gave birth to them. What a good mom you are. And only one spotted one. Well, that's okay. Hopefully she'll have more next time. Spotted ones are so fun. That's kind of why I got her, is for spotted babies. But one's better than none, huh? Okay, that's so good. They look okay. No one's dead. They all look fine. I'm going to cover them back up. Okay, Miss Elodie, I know I'm bothering your babies. I'm sorry. I'm going to close this. Okay, that's good. And then... This tunnel, let's stuff it up a little bit. Just in case. There we go. Okay, that's so good. So this is our second batch of babies. I'm so excited. What did I say, eight? Wow, that's a lot. That's a good size litter. Yay! And then these guys, I think, are nine days old. So this is our first litter, second litter. And it looks like this nest box is still empty, though. And my gosh, I thought for sure, Acrobat, who's so big and full, was a, still having a huge dewlap. I thought for sure she was going to have babies. But Ivy and Elodie gave birth before her. So she's either gets really fat really early in her pregnancy or something's wrong. I'm assuming. Oh, look. Oh, look. Here. Move, Acrobat. Here. I saw something. Here, look. Look at all this blood from, like, the labor. Like, the beginning of it. See all this blood staining? Yeah. So, we have two of our, I think, five does have been babies. So they already had some. They already had some. So Acrobat, Zuzu, and Iantha. Where is she? There's Iantha. There's Iantha. Oh, now Ronwyn is going to try to breed her again in the next coming few days. So that'll be interesting. And she's acting interested in this nest. She's, like, kind of guarding it. She was checking on what I was doing when I was with her babies. This is so good. I'm so glad she had one spotted baby. I was hoping for more than just one, but you know, one's better than none. I was hoping, you know, she'd have multiple spotted babies because she's our only spotted doe or broken, you know, but same thing. But that coloring pattern is so fun and unique in our herd. There's just only one of her. So I was hoping she could have a lot of spotted babies so we could keep some as breeders and have more broken kits. But I guess one is all we'll get for now. Hopefully there'll be more than one spotted one in the next few litters. Because I for sure want to keep some spotted does from her. Because she is so big. And so far being such a good mom too. So another really exciting thing that's happened is this rabbit. Oh my gosh. She has been. We bought her when she was like four months old. Maybe five months old. So she's been raised on pellets her entire life in a small cage. And she gave birth for the first time perfectly in our colony setup. Eating no pellets. So she's like went through a drastic, drastic change. It took her a little while to actually get pregnant and have babies, but she did a great job. She made a good nest way ahead of time. She was nesting way ahead of time. And she gave birth perfectly. All her babies are alive. 
there aren't any dead, like if she did have any dead ones, she ate them all. All the placentas are all eaten and everything's cleaned up good. She did so good. Now we'll just have to see if she continues to feed them. Ivy is doing a great job feeding her kits. She's having no problem with milk supply. We'll see if that's the same with Elodie. So that's so exciting that we have this rabbit who went from cage and pellets to no cage and no pellets and she's still doing really good. Good morning everyone. It's the next morning. Let's check on the babies. See if they were fed or not yet. Oh, they're so little. Sorry, it's kind of hard for y'all to see. One. They don't look super fed yet this morning. Maybe they are and I'm not noticing though. Two. Three. Yeah, no bulging bellies that I can see. Four. But they don't look super skinny either. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. All eight of them over here. So it's possible she gave birth last night, so she's gonna nurse them like tonight and every night instead of in the mornings like Ivy's doing. We'll just have to see what her schedule is. Or if she even has a schedule, she might just go crazy and do whatever. But they aren't nursed yet, but I'm not worried yet. So that's good. They all looked healthy otherwise. And Mama's coming over to see what I'm doing. Thank you. So we'll put this back and check on them a little while later. Guys, there's some more fur added and it looks like earlier, so from when I checked to now, they got fed, they got fed, oh my gosh. Look at that big belly, is that so good? They're all nice and tight and round, so I just came to check on them too early this morning. Now that it's a little bit later in the morning, they're all nice and full. Look at this belly, look at this belly. <gasps> Guys, look at this! Look at that stripe thing! Oh my gosh! Look at that! Do you see that little? It's like right, right, um, let's see. Like right on the back of it. Kind of looks like a pea stain. I think that's like, like spotting. So, okay, so, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is so exciting! So, um, Pepper, one of our other does, she was the only spotted doe we had paired with Ronwyn. She had also... At first we thought it was no spotted kits, but one of the white ones turned out to be spotted with orange, and because the orange is so light, you can't tell very well on a newborn. So that one kit, Pepper's kit, we thought it wasn't going to be spotted, but then as it got older and the fur grew, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's orange, it's orange and white spotted, and I was so excited. So we might have one of those too, oh my gosh, yay! I, I kind of see something, something very faint. Very, very faint. So... It's possible one or more of these kits is going to be spotted just with a super light color that I can't see the black. You know, it's really dark, so it's very visible. But the orange, like you can, when they're newborn, you can't really tell if they're going to be an orange kit or a white kit because their fur is so similar in color. It's both are so light. So, fingers crossed that we have two or more spotted babies instead of just this one black one because spotted like broken kits are so pretty so like just having all these solid colors for so long kind of gets boring so having broken kits is gonna be really fun